Let's start with question 6B from our Jan 2025 examination paper. This question 6B is from the topic of buybacks. This question, they've given us the information, they're expecting us to pass the journal entries. They're not asking us to use our skills to compute the maximum permissible buyback. No, they've told, they've decided we should only do accounting. We're not in judging position. We're not in commenting position or suggesting uh, position. We're only in accounting position. Shall we see this? Read the question. Following information are available in respect of Z Limited. That's the name of the company as on 31st of March 2024. Now, if you see at the end, you are required to pass necessary journal entries. Okay, let's do the same. This is information, extract of the balance sheet given to you. Don't read that, waste of time. Quickly read what's given below this. The company decides to buy back 20%. Can they buy back 20? Oh, yeah. They have passed the necessary resolution. Huh? Don't worry. 20% of equity share capital at 50. 15 is buyback price. 15 is buyback price. Now, take this. How many shares are there? 4 lakh. In 4 lakh, we are buying back 20%. That is 80,000 equity shares is what we are buying back. Come down. On 1st of April 2024, they have given date. Always write journal entry with date column. Don't skip date column. Or you can skip it if they have not given any other date. Buyback is as per provisions of Companies Act. Silent tag journal entry pass And company passed the necessary resolution for it. For this purpose, it sold 40 lakhs worth of investments for 32 lakhs. First, write the sale entry. They have sold the investments. What is the value of the investment sold? Book value 40 lakhs. Selling price 32 lakhs. They have not given any other date. Only one date. So no need of date column. So let's write the journal entry. Bank account debit. How much? 40 lakh rupees is the value of the investment sold, but consideration received is 32 lakh. 32 lakh bank account debit, investment will be credited to the extent of 40 lakh. This gap is there now of 8 lakhs. To that extent of 8 lakhs where you don't receive anything, debit will be lost, debited to PNL, being investment sold. Now I have money, now I am ready to do buyback. When I am ready to do buyback, my share capital will decrease, I will debit my equity share capital account. Number of equity shares that is there is 4 lakh. I am buying back 80% to 4 lakh into 20%. Sorry, 80% is not. Sorry, 4 lakh into 20%. 80,000 shares. Each share is of rupees 10. Share capital account debit will be always at nominal value. I will do 4 lakh shares into 20% into rupees 10 per share, which comes to 8 lakh rupees. But am I buying back at 10 rupees? No, I am buying back at 15. 5 rupees extra that I pay becomes premium. Premium is expense to me. I will not rate security premium, I will not rate p and I should first rate premium on buyback account. Later, I will adjust with security premium. To begin with, I should write it as premium on buyback. How much premium? 5 rupees per share for 80,000 shares. Sir, how did you get 80? Same, yeah, 4 lakh into 20%. 4 lakh into 20% is the number of shares multiplied by 5, you will get 4 lakh. Ultimately, I have to pay money to equity shareholder for purpose of shares bought back. I will create shares bought back account. How much money am I supposed to pay on the shares bought back? 4 lakh into 20%, 80,000 shares into 15 rupees per share. I will write 80,000 shares into rupees 15 per share. How much is that? 12 lakh rupees. This is due entry. This is not the payment entry. After this, when I make the payment, the shares bought back, what I had credited here, I would debit it by 12 lakh and I would credit bank account by 12 lakh. This is the payment entry. Everyone got this? By doing this, my capital of the company has gone down. Capital of the company can never decrease other than by way of capital reduction approved by the court of law. That is internal reconstruction. Here, am I doing internal reconstruction? No, I am doing only buyback. By way of buyback, can the capital decrease? No, never. It should not. So what to do? Compliance of section 69, subsection 1 of Companies Act 2013. We have to create CRR. We have to create? Yeah. Are we freshly issuing any shares for the purpose of buyback? No. We are only redeeming, sorry, buying back shares by using consideration from sale of investments. My share capital is decreasing by 8 lakh rupees. How much is it decreasing by? So I have to create CRR for how much? 8 lakh. And in this process, this premium on buyback 4 lakh also will transfer to my security premium. So I would write that as Premium on buyback account credit 4 lakh. And do we have security premium? Yeah, 6 lakh is there. How much is there? 
6 lakh. Can I take 4 lakh from the 6 lakh? I am not asking, I am asking security premium. Can I take 4 lakh? It tells yes. You did not hear? Okay. 4 lakh taken from security premium. Wow, sir. Wow. 4 lakh have taken. Next, shall we create CRR for 8 lakh? CRR 8 lakh, I will credit it. Where will I take money from? I should take money from free reserves. Free reserves means general reserve and PL. It will also include dividend equalization fund and revenue reserve if, it, if that name is used. But that nomenclature is not allowed. But if still the question mentions, take it. Here, what do we have? Do we have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revenue reserve. See, I told you, you should not take. We discussed in Schedule 3 the names that can be used in reserves. In that revenue reserve is not there. Bidi, we can't correct them. Janak buddhi yeli 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 and jivna ne ala go gide. Matta kelta rudal jana. Yengi dira saharan. I'll take 50 lakh hide. How much do I want? 8 lakh. Remaining 42 lakh you only keep. I will take how much? Yeah, 8 lakh. Sir, shouldn't we be taking P and L? You can take P and L. But first we'll exhaust general reserve and then come to P and L. That revenue reserve is nothing but general reserve. And actually we are done. Sir, Ashtin, Ashtin. 